Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1216. Hey, if you want to download the Thorpe Quick 1216 to 1217 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1213, we did fraction number formatting, and Awafi and Doug Stevens gave a great different type of fraction number formatting. Now, the original question up here was about these question marks and what they do. And in fact, if you use this custom number formatting on a number like 3 divided by 25, well, it only shows a single digit. And so the number 1 eighth is different on the surface of the spreadsheet than what is actually in the cell. Down here, if you use two question marks, it's going to properly show two digits. But notice if we use three or four, it actually indents it. Now over here are some of the characters you're allowed to use in custom number formatting. The question mark acts as a digit placeholder that does not display insignificant digits, but does hold a place so the digits align. So notice here, we have four of them. But the insignificant digits, meaning question mark, question mark here, do not show up as zeros. But it does hold those placeholders. So the in our case with fraction, the slash shows up with the proper alignment. Now actually, if you were to use the question marks here, here's an example of 3 divided by 25. You could use 0, 0. That's a digit placeholder that displays significant and insignificant zeros. right? So here we see 3 with two leading zeros. 25 with a leading 0. That would be ridiculous in fraction formatting, but using zeros is great for leading digits. Ah, but this is the one that Awafi and Doug suggested we use for fraction. It's beautiful because if we have three of them here, it'll display up to three digits, but it won't indent it as the question marks does. So let's try our same example over here. I'm going to highlight all these cells, and in the active cell, I'm going to make a formula equals 3 divided by 25. Now that formula in the active cell, I can populate it down through all the highlighted cells by holding Control and Enter. Now that's the actual decimal, right? But we don't want to display it that way. Control-1 to open up Format Cells, go down to Custom. And over here in the type, I'm going to pound sign slash pound sign. We can see very clearly that that's not going to work when I hit Enter, because it's showing 1 8th. Now maybe that's what you want, but we're not displaying the actual number that's underneath. That is a number on the surface of the spreadsheet that's different than the number underneath. So of course, Control-1, we could do our same trick. This is significant digits only, pound, pound, slash, pound, pound. That, of course, will work here. But watch this. We can come down to this next one. And this is what's so cool. We can Control-1, Custom, and here I can go pound, 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 slash, pound, pound, pound. What this will do is. If I were to type a third digit, it would accommodate it. But if I click OK, it doesn't slide it over. Now, let's highlight both of these cells here. Control-1. We're going to come down here. And now we're going to do pound, pound, pound four times, one, two, three, four, slash, one, two, three, four. Click OK. And now we can see it doesn't scoot it over like it did with our question marks. But check this out. I could try equals 3 divided by 1,067. And when I Control Enter, the four digits show up. But notice, whereas with the question marks, the slashes are totally lined up. An another example for this would be if you had a decimal and you wanted it lined up, right? But here, we don't see those insignificant digits up here, but down here we do. So that's a pretty beautiful, awesome trick from Awafi and Doug Stevens. Now let's look at another example here. We can do a mixed number, like we want to see 3 and 3 25ths. Now I'm going to do a formula equals 3 plus 3 divided by 25, Control 3. Enter, 1, that 2. gives me 3.12, which is the proper decimal, right? But Control 1, let's display a mixed number. So I'm going to click on Custom and come over here, pound sign, space, pound, 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 let's say three of them, slash, pound, pound, pound. And of course, this will display the 25 properly without any extra digits when I click OK. Now it shows up as a mixed number. If I were to change this to 
three and three two hundred and fiftieth. There we go. It would totally work. By having only three here, it's only going to display up to three. Boop, boop. Control enter. And another thing which Doug pointed out, that space is very important now because that says, hey, we need a digit for whatever whole number there is, but the rest of it has to show up in fraction number formatting. All right, love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Awafi and Doug. We'll see you next trick.